Taoiseach, back in 2015, I proposed a private member's motion calling on the government to accept the Apple tax billions and to spend it on building social and affordable housing to solve the housing crisis. At the time, I told this house, quote, the resources exist. It is a question of political prioritization to end the homelessness and the housing crisis over Apple not paying any tax. Back then, there were 1,571 homeless kids growing up in emergency accommodation. Today, there is around 4,500 kids in that situation. Tishak, you were in government then too. You voted against that motion. I want to ask you now, after the European Court of Justice ruling, whether you regret that decision. Do you regret throwing away a golden opportunity to solve the housing crisis 10 years ago before it escalated into the catastrophe that it is now? And will you now commit to spending the Apple tax billions on building social and affordable housing now? I do think when it comes to the Apple uh, tax, I, um, I do think investing that in things like infrastructure, which include housing, is, is, is a good way uh, of considering how to spend that. I equally think looking at how, we've, how we deploy the sale of bank shares and the likes, um, of which there's quite a significant amount of uncommissioned resources in the ISAF, uh, is another good way of going about that. These will be matters for, for budget day and beyond. I would argue we have the LDA now as a vehicle. Uh, from a state point of view in terms of trying to make progress. Look, from a capacity point of view, if there's capacity constraints in the economy in general in terms of workforce, public versus private, I think those capacity constraints um, are, are there.